the result against Ethiopia, Bafana Bafana received a hero's welcome when they touched down earlier this afternoon. Their loss put their qualification hopes in jeopardy. They trail Ethiopia by five points with just one round of matches remaining. But Ethiopia could be docked three points if found guilty of fielding an ineligible player. We uh, obviously got one more game to play against, uh, against um, Botswana. And uh, they got to play against uh, Ethiopia, a car, you know, so let's see what happens. But uh, whatever the result is, it doesn't affect us unless they get docked points and we win the last game and they win or draw, lose the last game. Sudan and Gabon were also docked three points during this qualification campaign for fielding ineligible players. Meanwhile, Igerson, who was offered a performance-based contract when he was appointed as coach last year, has failed to achieve his targets. His mandates to reach the semi-finals of the Africa Cup of Nations and qualify for the World Cup. But it seems his job is safe. We're going to take this process forward uh, through the right uh, technical team. But my words as a president is, he's the best coach we have. And surely, if we need to make progress, this is the coach. And the players agree. It's very difficult to, to, to settle down in a team that changes coaches. I mean, like, now with Coach Gordon, I mean, I think he has set the, 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 the pace of the team. And you can see since he, he took over, we've been playing good football, exciting football, attacking football. Bafana play their next World Cup qualifier at home against Botswana in September. Sfiso Ramara, SABC News. Well, for more on this story, I'm joined by SAFA President Kirsten Nematandani. Kirsten, thank you so much for joining us. Um, when do we expect FIFA to make a ruling on uh, this whole debacle with Ethiopia? Well, thank you for having me in, the, in your studio and to the viewers out there. I am not sure when FIFA will finally make that uh, decision. I understand there are three countries that are involved. And yeah. in this instance, uh, our interest will be uh, on Ethiopia. And, I mean, that, that's obviously vital for us. If you can just use your experience as an, an administrator, what's going on in Africa in terms of football administration that things are so dire? Because it's not just Ethiopia, it's Togo and it's Equatorial Guinea. And then there was also Su Sudan and Gabon as well. They were docked points. Uh, what's your take on the whole s scenario? Do, do you guys just not play by the rules? Well, I, I think perhaps uh, there might be a missing link uh, between the administration and, of course, the technical side in terms of uh, keeping the record. But surely if you know that a player has uh, received uh, two caution, you know what to do. And I do not think you would try and gamble on that unless if there is some element of ignorance somewhere. But the statistics should be kept. And uh, if you don't follow that... The we, result we're be hearing wrong. reports that Barney Kajani was looking for the match commissioner after last uh, yesterday's match to kind of report another incident where a player had been yellow carded twice and not been sent off. Um, was it pure chaos in the stadium yesterday? I wouldn't say it was pure chaos. I mean, uh, it was just a lot of uh, excitement uh, from the locals. As you know, they support their national team with great passion. And of course, yes, uh, the stadium is small and uh, uh, the situation was not as, as conducive as you'd want it to be in terms of the cleanliness of the inside of the stadium with the media also wanting to get space to have their cameras there. Um, I, I don't think one should be able to, to comment on that matter now because yeah. the match commissioner was there, the reference assessor was there, the reference report will also be there. If that was the case, they will have to, to get the facts right, and I believe uh, there's also some recording. W let's, let's take it back to the coach, Gordon Nigerson. What are the plans with him? Surely we cannot sack this coach. He's only just begun, and they, they are promising signs. I must say we are all delighted um, about the work that uh, Gordon has done with the boys, and as you could have seen, the team has certainly changed a great deal. Uh, they are more focused. They are more committed. And the discipline in the lineup has been very, very good. And uh, uh, the results have been positive. Well, unfortunately, uh, we were disappointed with what had happened uh, um, yesterday in Ethiopia. We were hoping we would make it. And I know the country is equally disappointed when it comes to that. Uh, it's one of those things that happen in the game. You win some, you lose some. 
and it was not meant to be on the day. Our boys played their hearts out, and, and unfortunately you could see how much they wanted it, and hence you could even realize when it comes to defense, they all wanted to make sure that they keep that clean slate, but it didn't happen. I mean, that, that's, that's the recurring theme that, uh, that we see covering this story is the supporters all are totally behind Bafana and they have a lot of sympathy for them. Given the struggles that they had to contend with on this trip, Ethiopia was just the cherry on top in terms of a hostile atmosphere and, you know, the calls going, n not going their way. Um, but everybody still does believe in this team. It's not like anyone said, well, you know, let's throw in the towel and start again. Certainly, we're all very optimistic that this is the team for the future. A lot of young stars in the lineup, and Coach Gordon Ingerson has done a fantastic job in also reaching out at uh, coaches at uh, club levels, interacting with them, saying the following players, please look after them for the national team, which is working very, very well. And I must just say, he has built up a team not just individual players. So it's only the beginning of this process. Kirsten, thank you so much for joining us. That's where we're going to have to leave it for now. We wait for FIFA's uh, ruling to see if there is just that slight bit of hope for us to qualify for the World Cup. Thanks so much. Now let's